Framing a frame within your camera frame is a popular technique of composition and you can use a man-made structure, you can use natural things to really enhance the subject in your photos. Adding a frame within a frame helps to draw the viewer's attention to your main subject and it can add a real interest and create depth in an image where it might otherwise be lacking. And the frame can be a very distinct frame, it can be like a window frame or a door frame, something like that, or it can be a bit more indistinct, and it can be a part frame, you don't have to have your subject completely surrounded, or it can be a shape that implies a frame. Use your imagination and look for things that can kind of wrap around or partially encompass your subject. And the stronger the lines that your frame has, the greater the impact will be on your composition. When you're framing within a frame, it's also really important to look at what's in the background, what's behind your subject, what else is in the frame, or what else is on either side of your frame if your frame's not completely filling the same dimension as your camera frame. And as you're using this technique of putting a frame within a frame, think about other composition techniques and even other camera techniques that you might like to use. Here I'm standing against a dark background, so that's helping to kind of isolate me within the frame as well. It's always good to try and incorporate a number of different appropriate techniques and methods into each photograph that you make, rather than relying on a single composition or camera technique. And so your challenge here is to make a series of photographs of the same subject using different things to frame them. Choose a subject that you can move around, it might be your partner, it might be a friend, it could be anything that you like that you can put in different locations and frame in different ways. Use your imagination, get creative and see how many different photographs you can make of one subject framed in different situations. So I hope this has encouraged you, I hope this has given you some ideas and that as you think about this video, I'm sure you'll start looking for frames and seeing frames in all sorts of places where you may not have seen them before. If you found some of this information helpful, please click that thumbs up and give us a like on the video. And if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you can stay up to date when we add new videos to our channel. Thanks for watching.